our defense forces, all these people who talk all kinds of irresponsible things, I would like them to go and spend some time. I just went to various places, particularly Siachen. It's not the enemy who kills them, it's just the weather and the terrain which kills them every day. Do you understand? It's the harshest weather and harshest terrain because lines were drawn by some irresponsible people between two nations. And all kinds of places where you cannot live, those kind of places you're trying to defend on a daily basis. So, these forces, when they need something, without much fuss, quickly it should happen. Now the entire world knows what kind of aircraft we are buying and what capabilities it has. This is not the way to conduct your defense, all right? We have gotten used to handling everything through agents. Now, government to government when it comes, everybody wants to know. When the agents handled, nobody knew what the hell is happening, right? Now, when it comes to an aircraft, a fighter, bomber aircraft, I don't know why this was not articulated properly. What I am saying is, you're buying an airplane, not a missile, all right? They're talking about a bare aircraft and a loaded aircraft. Once it is loaded, is it enough? I'm asking. It is loaded once, is it enough? So how many loads do you want to have? Whatever armament it has, how many times do you want to reload it? You want to tell the whole world, we've got only twelve reloads? I'm asking, is that a sensible thing to do? <laughs> Not at all. So maybe we have fifty reloads, maybe we have hundred reloads, we don't want to tell you. It's nobody's business to know, even I should not know, you should not know, because if you and me know, everybody in the world will know. So are you buying a missile or an aircraft? When you buy an aircraft and there are specific armaments designed for us, how many reloads do you want? Suppose you get into your battle tomorrow, how many reloads do you want? One will do, somebody thinks one will do, unfortunate.